I started a couple of months ago, so it's quite new. And I was uh, starting with, with the t-shirts and then clothes, like anybody else, I guess, who's entering the POD uh, business. But then if you go down the rabbit hole, then you see it's maybe better to, to uh, try to sell some high margin products. Just putting in the prompt, you have to tweak it a bit and polish it and everything and so on. And, uh, like everything, is, if something is new, people are discussing, eh, it's not really art, but it's there, it's not going anywhere, so then take advantage of it. If you sell t-shirts and you have a marketplace like Teespring or whatever, and they take the most of it, and it doesn't make sense, so better to have a store and sell on your own. Yeah? Responsible for everything, but you keep the profit. Welcome to our Influencer Podcast. We're talking badass blankets today. We're talking badass woven blankets, badass minky blankets, badass beach blankets, and badass wall art. We've got uh, Cornelis Clement here. He's the founder of Badass Blankets. And we're going to talk about not only these products, but also opportunities for influencers to promote Cornelis' badass blankets. So, Cornelis, welcome to the show. Thanks for um, joining us today, and, and we'll get into the products in a moment. Can you kind of share what's new on your side on the mm -hmm. um, with Badass Blankets? Okay. Yeah. First of all, thanks for having me. Uh, nice to be here. Um, yeah, my company, I started a couple of months ago, so it's quite new. And um, yeah, I was uh, starting with, with the T-shirts and, and, and uh, clothes, like anybody else, I guess, who's entering the POD uh, business. But then if you go down the rabbit hole, then you see it's maybe better to, to try to sell some high margin products. And um, also because I had some designs and it was important for me to, to showcase my art kind of, then I stumbled upon uh, blankets and that's, uh, that's, that's a thing. I so it's your art, Cornelis, on the blankets? Mm -hmm. So to be honest, it's AI generated art, but uh, probably people don't know. <laughs> yeah, probably, but you're, yeah, the, you're the hand behind the... Yeah, the it's, not, it's not just putting in the prompt, you have to tweak it a bit and polish it and everything and so on. Um, yeah, like everything, is, if something is new, people are discussing, eh, it's not really art. and. Uh, it was the same and when the movies came out it's not not the same like <laughs> like uh, other stuff but it's there it's not going anywhere so then take advantage of it and um, you don't have to hire any designer anymore it's democratized itself a bit creating art and um, so this was the yeah, main reason why i went into uh, pod because it's easier to to produce stuff yeah, interesting. And then you mentioned from a margin standpoint, then you find blankets are a higher margin product than just standard t-shirts or um, yeah, exactly. wearables. As you probably know, if you sell t-shirts and you have a marketplace like Teespring or whatever, and they take the most of it and you mm -hmm. left with three or four dollars or so, and you're going to burn out before you sell it. Any yeah. t-shirts, you <laughs> have to do so, so much work into it, and uh, uh, not acceptable. So it's a waste of time in the end. <laughs> yeah, I understand. So I saw. Are you on multiple platforms? And I saw an Etsy presence for you as well, in addition to your Shopify uh, store. So no, 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 not even Etsy. But when I was uh, making t-shirts, then we have this kind of Etsy, Redbubble, Teespring, whatever is out there. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they take a really big part of, of the of the of the income, yeah, and then we're left with the pennies more or less, and it doesn't make sense. So also, there's the question: Do you have a store, or do you do it on, on some marketplaces? And because I want to have my um, keep my data and my clients uh, and whatever else, yeah, so it's anyway better to have a store and sell on your own, yeah responsible for everything but um you keep the profit and most most of it yeah right that's the way that's the way to do it and i, I know the challenge which i appreciate after having gone through it a few times myself is always that demand generation how do you get the customers first to the to the website right and then to buy so with badass blankets then we're turning into influencers and in your collab and i know you've had an, an affiliate program going for a little while so tell mm -hmm. us about that what have you done so far in terms of your affiliate program and then what are we looking for in terms of our uh, collab and potential applicants from the influencer side so also to be honest so i started with affiliate and, and the influencer a few weeks ago so before i did some paid advertising uh, some organic search native ads and, and so on it was okay still not profitable yet but that's okay yeah were those at were those adwords like on google google adwords to keywords it's okay 
it's okay about the things you have to put put a bit of budget into it so if you run with 20 dollars per day you don't mm -hmm. get really far with this because competition is there they're spending more so you don't get shown i guess so and i think for this for the kind of products i do i think influencer affiliate would be the best or so this people can see the product if, if you find some influencer you can relate to the product then it's more likely then um, you can also build a community more or less this is also kind of the goal not to make the easy sale so uh, rather have a community with, with like-minded people who, who like your stuff and um, uh, are going to, to to buy again or so or be connected to the brand somehow yeah? and this is i guess probably the best way to do this with influencer yeah for sure right to get the repeat buyers as you said the problem with some of these you're paying online right and you're paying for click and um, the twenty dollars i'm sure just it, i know it evaporates like that because facebook and google they're happy to they're happy to try they're happy to charge your credit card for whatever your budget is yeah, and, and it's amazing they'll they'll hit the full car but to get like you mentioned to get the repeat customers right to get the community where the you know people are into your product and 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 buying on a repeated basis um, so from the setup side then for influencers who are watching this, listening to this, it's a mm -hmm. commission opportunity that we have with Badass Blankets? Uh, both, yeah. You get a gift example, of course, if you can see for yourself. But in the end, of course, you should earn um, as well if, if you put uh, into hard work. So then I'm offering a commission structure as well. And, and working on the tee-up system so that you get rewarded for your hard work. So you bring more customers. and then uh, you earn more in the end of course um but yeah this is how affiliate works kind of i guess yeah. <laughs> even with influencers yeah yeah 100 percent. and we will get the link to your collab here in the show notes so our influencer influencers can apply and you'll be able to click the uh, link to the badass blankets collab and then just say i'm interested and then we'll send a note over to cornellis to review your application and uh, hopefully uh, get you approved so you can start chatting back and forth about that what types of influencers are you looking for specifically for the effort here from mm, i guess it must be in the home and decor niche for sure but also it's different home decor can be everything it can be the ranch in texas <laughs> with the 55 year old uh, mom and uh, also the, the loft in, in new york or whatever so um yeah here home decor for, for sure no? and then we have to see if it's a fit so so I, I guess because some designs are probably not for anybody so um, i think even in the home decor niche should be should be yeah relevant for both yeah so i look at the content of the influencer the, con the influencer looks at my my, uh, my page and um, if you both can find a way to, to work together then, then, then it's, it's good i guess so, but i'm open for anything because you never know who's, who's buying in the end so um so yeah at least the home decor niche, maybe some lifestyle would make sense too yeah, yeah this is an excellent opportunity and a very, very unique product with unique designs here and then also nicer to get a, a high, higher commission and potentially a, a product sample as cornell mm -hmm. mentioned here so we will get the again link to the collab here for uh badass blankets generally online then cornell how can people follow and connect with badass blankets in terms of social media we have an Instagram handle, of course, Facebook page, not much going on there <laughs> right now. Hopefully it's going to change. Yeah, but just uh, holler at me with an email or just Instagram, DM, Facebook, whatever. My phone number is also on my website, so many ways. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I love the personal touch. I went to your about page. It's like, hey, guys, it's me. It's Cornelis. We're, yeah, talk <laughs> we're talking badass blankets, which is great. You go to a lot of stores and um, many Shopify stores they look nice and there's no personality to them so when I'm... it's important so we want to connect with your customers at least yeah, so. exactly exactly and um which is why we do these and it was great having you on cornell so we were able to introduce you to uh our influencers and, and get a feel for badass blankets and get to see the man behind mm -hmm. the blankets so thanks so much for joining <laughs> us and, and for hosting your collab with us look forward to sending yes, some yes, great yes, influencers yes. your way and, and having them apply okay perfect all right. Thank thanks you so much. <laughs> also, take care. Bye-bye.